hi to you, mate. What's, what's your name, my comedy virgin? Mike, everyone say hi, Mike. Thank you for you. You're very fucking confident, Mike. I'll give you that. You even put your hand up like the Queen. I like you, mate. Um, Mike's nice to meet you. I'm Freddie. I'm the comper. Uh, it's, it's good to meet you. Who are you out with, Mike? Who's the gang? Laura. Laura. Okay. Uh, how do you know? <laughs> He's very fucking quick with his answers, isn't he? There's no more information than absolutely necessary from Mike. Mike, Laura, fuck off and talk to someone else, rag and bone, man. That's cool. Uh, uh, Mike, how do you know Laura? Oh, is it a date? Oh, fucking yes, mate. We've hit gold. What's going on? Do, do, do you explain how it started? Look at him already thinking, what's the minimum amount of words I can get through with this? Me, her, shagging intermittently. That's cool. So what's going on? You're, you're on holiday? Here? In Liverpool. Fucking hell almighty. <laughs> Ah, oh, proper scum. I like it. Hello to you guys. Whereabouts are you on holiday from? Where, where, where do you live? A shitter place. That's, that, that's how holidays work, isn't it? You don't, you don't go on holiday to somewhere worse than you already fucking live, Mike. That would be insane, wouldn't it? Just going into the travel office being like, I would like two tickets to Basra, please. It's, uh, I've heard it's got some great views. Um, uh, where's the shitter place? Where are you from? Northamptonshire, that's an entire fucking county, isn't it? Where, where specifically are you from? Kettering. What? Kettering? Oh, right, what fucking road? I'm not that much of a pervert that I would go to your house in Kettering. You know, if there was someone local, maybe I'd stalk them, but I'm not fucking driving for three hours to peer through your bushes and have a wank. That is... That is commitment that I quite frankly don't have. Um, cool, so you're from Kettering. What's going on? Are you, are you boy from golf then? Yeah. Sweet. How long have you been together for, Mike? Six months. Six months? Oh, well. No, we don't give a fuck. That's, um, <laughs> I like this Sunday audience. You're very discerning. Um, uh, sweet, how did you meet? You met at the pub. Which pub did you meet at? The old Vic. It's like being in an episode of fucking EastEnders, this. This is amazing. So you met the pub. Who went over to who? It was Tinder. I like how you had a fucking backstory for it, though. We met at the old Vic pub. And you folded under questioning instantly. Who talked to who? Ah, oh, it was fucking Tinder, mate. I was, I was bored. I was, uh, uh-oh, I'm just cracking out them wanks. And uh, that's all right, mate. Don't you be ashamed or embarrassed about meeting people online. It's absolutely fine, mate. I mean, look, when I, 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 I met my missus uh, via Tinder as well. So, you know, there you go. You're in uh, good company. In fact, when I was single, I was on all the online dating websites. I was on Tinder. I was on Plenty of Fish. I was on Single Asian Muslim. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, but for the right woman, I'd convert, you know. Look, some of the women on singleasianmuslim.com, they're fucking beautiful. I was going through the website like, Jesus Christ, I'd pray five times a day to smash that shit. So, uh, who, who messaged who first on Tinder then? You messaged first. What was your opening message? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Real fucking creative, mate. Were you, were you just on Tinder? Yeah, no, no, no. Fuck off, you were just on <laughs> Tinder. Which man puts all his eggs in one basket? Were you, were you just genuinely on the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay, cool. And uh, how, how many other women were you messaging at the time? <laughs> Because this is when we'll all fucking know if he's talking bullshit. Because if he goes, I was just messaging one woman. I, of course, I only message the women that I like because that's not how fucking men operate on online dating. We cast the net as far wide as we can and we just fucking reel in whatever sticks. Um, so how many people were you... Look at us all going, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so how many other uh, people were you messaging? Between three and nine. So nine, then... <laughs> Between three and nine, what a weird fucking metric, cool. I like you, Mike, there's something about you that I just like. Um, so is this like your first little holiday then? Is this like your first getting away? Oh, that's nice, that's cool. Uh, where, where, are you, where are you staying? Where are you treating the lady to? Originally it was a tent. Wow, you have come a long way to go dogging, my friend. That is, that is impressive. Originally it was a tent. Have you upgraded from... Well, you can't fucking downgrade from the tent, can you? But we forgot the tent, so we're just sleeping on a sleeping bag on Sefton Park. Just like, this is shit. Um, uh, so, so where are you staying? Uh, we've, we've upgraded to a prison. You've upgraded to a prison? Yeah. 
You're staying in a prison? A converted prison? Yeah, yeah, you had to put that one in. Imagine you just walking into Liverpool City Centre, just lobbing a brick and going, fuck it, free a come. That's great. So, uh, so it's a converted prison. What star rating are we talking? Three or four? <laughs> Three. You wish. What? You wish. You work there. Oh, fucking yes. I wonder what weird heckle that was. Three or four stars, you wish. Yes, I do wish it was three or four stars. That's, that's a good rating. So you work at the, at the prison? I recommended them to come tonight. You recommended them to come tonight? What, this converted prison has a fucking concierge? What? Well, you, no, you were fucking after the threesome. That's what you're after, my friend. Uh, getting balls deep in Kettering. Um, so you work at the prison. What do you do at the uh, converted prison? You're just a receptionist. Don't you ever say just a receptionist. Don't you ever say just. You can be whatever you want to be, sweetheart. What, what's the prison called? Because we can't just call it the prison. The Bridewell. What? The Bridewell. The Bridewell. And it doesn't have any, like, what star rating is it then? Oh, let's get the TripAdvisor up. Fucking good idea, mate. Uh, right, go on. I'll get the, uh, I'll get the TripAdvisor up while you're talking. Go on. What, what, um, what rating is it on TripAdvisor? I think it's eight and a half. You think it's what? Eight and a half. Eight and a half out of five. <laughs> the bride. Well, B-R-I-D-E? Yeah. B-R-I-D-E. Oh, I'm such a fucking old man with technology. The bride. Well, oh, here we go. Uh, 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 trip advisor, trip advisor. Oh, it's not that bad. It's, it's four, four out of five. That's not too bad, is it? Oh, that's all right. Well done. Good for you. Let's read the shit reviews. Oh, yes. <laughs> I fucking love it. Stay at the Ibis round the corner. Wow. If that's someone's recommendation, that's someone's genuine recommendation. How shit is your place when someone's led there going, I wish I was in a fucking Ibis right now. Oh, if only man can dream. I've stayed, right, because when you do this job, you travel all over the country, right, and you stay in a fair few shit hotels. I have stayed in the Ibis before. It's pretty fucking gash. But what I didn't know is that the Ibis have a different strand of hotels called Ibis Budget. And that's for people who look at the Ibis and go, ooh, la dee fucking da. Oh, my God. It was, have you ever, like, slept in a bed and just, like, thought about how many people have cracked out wanks here before you. Do you know what I mean? It was fun. I stuck to that pillow. What, <laughs> Fucking like a human marshmallow. Sweet. Okay, so, uh, so what's your name, receptionist, ma'am? Lowry. Lowry? Lowry. Oh, Laurent. I thought you said Lowry then, like your parents had named you after a better hotel. That's a bit fucking <laughs> ridiculous. This is my sister Claridge's. It's a shame, isn't it? Uh, uh, Laurent. Okay, uh, how... Uh, is that a possible? <laughs> no. Uh, how, how, how are you spelling... I've never met a Laurent before. How, is, how are you spelling... Oh, no, let me guess how you're spelling Laurent. L? O? No. L A U R E N T. As in Laurent. Like, like Laurent Blanc or Laurent Robert. Laurent. <laughs> He's really fucking serious, is Laurent, isn't he? Well, whereabouts is your name from, Laurent? I'm from the Netherlands. You're from the Netherlands? Are you, are you Dutch then, yourself? No, I'm British. You're British? All right, okay, it's not a fucking Brexit thing. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to be like, enjoy the comedy, but please do fuck off home. You know what I mean? It's, it's all right. Uh, are your parents Dutch, are they? My dad is. Your dad's Dutch. How tall are you? Because I know that uh, Dutch people are very tall. Six foot two. You're six foot two? Fucking hell, Laurent. Nice. So, uh, so you work at the reception, uh, at the receptionist at this hotel, uh, and you two are staying at the hotel. That's nice. What should they do after this, Lawrence? What should they do? Go to, go to Weatherspoons. <laughs> They've got you two fucking down, haven't they? He was going to be like, you should go to the florist. It's a lovely botanical cocktail bar. And then he heard you were from Kettering, and he was like, you know what? Two quid for a pint. Fuck it. 